Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and I like talking about anything from style, fashion, luxury, handbags, you name it. If you're into all that good stuff as well, please subscribe below and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So when I was trying to decide what my video should be about today, I thought it would be a great idea and a lot of fun to talk about the 10 most ugliest bags of 2020. So before we begin, I'd just like to point out this video is based on my personal opinion. If you don't agree with any of my choices, that's fine with me. It's okay. Everyone has their own personal taste, has their own personal style. So really my goal here is just to have fun. I really do not want to offend anyone. I'm just here to have a great time and talk about the ugliest bags of 2020, in my opinion. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first bag I'm going to talk about Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of flack for it. I feel like a lot of people will not agree. But when this bag first came out, I had quite an aversion to it. I'm actually quite surprised about how well it's doing and Saint Laurent has come out with a bunch of new variations, uh, sizes, colors. It's really surprising to me, but that's the Saint Laurent Lulu puffer bag, especially in the medium size, so the biggest size it comes in. I mean, I don't know. Every time I look at this bag, I see a huge puffer jacket that's all i see that's what comes to mind i feel like you can't really wear it in summer because it's too big and bulky and heavy looking well, i'm from canada so the winters here get crazy cold i feel like i'm already wearing a big puffer jacket to keep me warm i'm not going to reach for the saint laurent puffer on top of it to wear with my big coat i feel it just doesn't go the smaller sizes however i do find really cute nothing against them the one positive thing I have to say about this bag though is I did feel the uh, the leather. Everyone always talks about how gushy and smooth and soft it is. They're absolutely right. The leather feels great on this bag. However, as for the look of it, I'm not a fan. Now, Bottega Veneta. Yep, Bottega Veneta. Really old Bottega, I'm a fan of. I feel like every piece they came out with was understated, elegant, classic, chic. New Bottega, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. Some of the bags they come out with I love, I absolutely adore, and then there's others I hate, I cannot stand, I think they are hideous and I just don't understand the concept behind them or what they were thinking when these bags were designed. And no exception to that rule is the Bottega Veneta shoulder pouch especially the biggest version they have in like the what they call the paper effect finish. I mean, I look at that bag and all I see is, you know those big grocery store brown paper bags you put your groceries in? That's what I see when I see this bag. I do not understand the concept. I feel like, I guess with the name, the paper effect finish, I guess that's the look they were going for. I just feel it's not a good look for Bottega. Now, before I show you or re reveal the next bag, I would just like to say the Gucci Marmont, I have nothing against that style. I actually feel it's quite reminiscent of Chanel. I feel it gives off those Chanel flap vibes. However, the Gucci Marmont multicolor pastel variation is just not working. I feel like the combination of the four pastel colors, so the green, the pink, uh, the blue, the yellow, it looks like a huge mess. I mean, honestly, I refer to this variation as the Easter egg bag collection. The only time you can wear it is Easter. Other than that, I don't see how you can wear this and make your outfit cute. I would like to mention, however, that they do come in the solid pastel colors, so like the solid pink, the solid blue, green, yellow. Those are cute. Nothing against those bags. I feel like they're really cute. They're really light, airy. They have a summer feel to them. It's really the foreign one with the slanted colored stripes. It looks like a mess. So for the next bag, it's, it's also a bag I feel I will get a lot of flack for. And that's the Givenchy Soft Antigona. So for me, the original Antigona was an iconic moment for Givenchy. I feel it's original like no other bag out there. I love the trapeze shape. I find it so unique. And then the hard shell it comes in is just great. This, however, I feel it's plain, boring. It doesn't do the Antigona name justice at all. Honestly, when I look at this bag, I see an old Antigona bag that someone mistakenly sat on and squashed. That's really what I see. And you know, Mel Soldera just got this bag. 
and she's most probably gonna come out with a styling video soon about this bag that might change everything I just said about this bag but for now it's just not doing it for me the next bag I was kind of perplexed really perplexed I just do not understand this collaboration whatsoever and that is the Louis Vuitton and League of Legends capsule collection you know before filming this video I had no idea what League of Legends even was so obviously I did some research on it and apparently it's this online video game yeah so it's just kind of hard for me to understand how someone can be a League of Legends fan and a Louis Vuitton fan at the same time and I just don't see how a League of Legends fan would be willing to pay thousands of dollars on a Louis Vuitton bag but hey if you're a fan of both please comment below I'd be interested and curious to hear hear about your thoughts on this capsule collection back to the bag so not only that I don't understand the collaboration they completely ruined the monogram and really I have nothing against designing or applying motifs onto the monogram I mean I'm a huge fan of the Steven Sprouse collection I love the Murakami collection it's so iconic for Louis Vuitton however this League of Legends collaboration I just can't see how I would incorporate this into my wardrobe I don't like the colors I feel the royal blue the silver the white the black on the monogram are very harsh and there's too much of a contrast I don't like that zebra-ish kind of pattern for me this really ruined the boîte à chapeau so next you know when I think of Chanel I think of elegant timeless classic when I see this bag none of that comes to mind I don't feel it represents Chanel all that well to be honest with you and that's the Chanel Shearling Lambskin collection the furry flap is not appealing to the eye it honestly reminds me of a bag I would walk around with and play house at the age of five years old I can't see an adult wearing this bag for any special event or on a day-to-day -day basis you know these bags go for like eight thousand dollars if I'm gonna spend that kind of cash on a bag or on a Chanel bag specifically I'm gonna go for the you know the elegant classic either caviar or lambskin flap something that is timeless and I'm gonna love for years and years to come and these furry flap bags just aren't that for me we can see there's a common thread here because the next bag I'm going to be talking about are the Fendi sheepskin and mink bags like what is this I just don't understand this for me what's even worse than the Chanel bag at least the Chanel was a solid fur color in the Fendi bags they actually printed the F's into the fur which I find hideous I find tacky I found find too loud you know and they did this for the baguette and the Montrezor their most famous or iconic bags don't even get me started on the peekaboo the mink peekaboo bags what is that the striped white and beige or black and beige fur is awful for me it's a cross between a skunk and furry underwear I just have no other words to explain it it's just a fail for Fendi another Bottega Veneta bag on my hate list and that's the Bottega Veneta fringe pouch oh my god guys this color this shape this material it just looks like a fuzzy weird bag I don't like the red and I don't know if you guys have ever watched Sesame Street or do any of you know about Elmo but the fringe at the bottom of the bag really reminds me of Elmo's arms I just find this ugly I can't see how you can make this cute it's just an ugly bag of 2020 so Louis Vuitton you know when they came out with their on-the-go bag I was a huge fan I love the on-the-go I love what they did with the reverse monogram I found it such a great idea but the Louis Vuitton patchwork denim is just not the on-the-go for me the patchwork is too intense there's too much contrast between the different colors of denim the monogram isn't evident enough honestly this just reminds me of like an old dirty beach bag you would throw your your beach towels in it's just not classy it's just not luxury it's just not nice so number 10 I think it's safe to say after this that I'm really not a fan of furry bags 
The next bag is also a Bottega Veneta bag and that's the Bottega Veneta chain tote bag. And you know, it comes in two variations, the Intrecciato uh, shearling as well as the calf leather. And honestly, I'm having a hard time choosing which one is worse. So the shearling bag, it just looks like an old fuzzy black sweater you had lying around in your drawer at home. While the calf leather one looks like a garbage bag with a gold chain hanging down from it. I don't understand the concept. Yes, it integrates the, um, the classic Inrechato into Bottega Veneta, but the classiness and the chicness just isn't there for this bag. My God, guys, I had so much fun filming this video, I decided to add a number 11. So a bonus or a honorable mention, if you will. And this one is another Bottega Veneta one. It's the Bottega Veneta tape bag. And you might ask yourself, what is that? That's the same thing I asked myself when I saw this bag. I'm just confused by this bag. It's just plain ugly to me. I don't see how it's called a tape bag, to be honest. I just feel like it's a huge mess. No, actually now looking at the picture, I can see how it's called the tape bag. To me, it looks like, you know when you're like boxing up your, your clothes because you're moving or you're making boxes, you're closing boxes and you pull the tape and like you make one wrong move and the tape gets crumpled. That's what it looks like. It looks like old, unusable, crumpled tape that you turn into a bag. And that's just not Bottega Veneta to me. That's just ugly and tacky. So as I mentioned, I had such a great time filming this video. Do you guys agree with my picks? Do you disagree? Would you add any other bags to this list? Please comment below. I'd love to read all your comments or to see what you guys think about these bags. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.